Good morning, sunshine. It's 5.30. My alarm doesn't go off for a half hour. But it's okay. I'm awake now. Mm, I mean, kind of. I'm awake enough to say hi. I'm not awake enough to, like, really commit to doing anything. Except maybe petting cereal in a moment, because she's been cuddled against my hip all night. Very cute. It's officially cold season. Like, cold outside season. And I am so excited. My nephew and Patrick are not excited. But what do they know? Not much. It's cozy time. It's time for all the cuddles. It's time for all the warm drinks. Oh, it's time for all of my sweaters. I'm so happy for cold. I do not like the hot of summer. My nephew keeps saying winter can go and summer can come back. And I keep telling him he can move out. It's fine. <laughs> I would never actually kick him out. But yeah they are summer people and i am an autumn winter person i don't know what my kids prefer i think mara prefers summer i don't know for sure about gabriel i have about 15 minutes before i need to leave for work i am not dressed i have not finished this cuff <sighs> i'm still wearing the sweater today friends it's a quarter after no quarter to four I am home Gabriel has one last assignment to do Mara finished all of her assignments at school so that's done um we're gonna have leftovers for dinner so I don't have to worry about that because yesterday my mom sent home a ton of food with my brother he lives pretty close to me my mom doesn't live super far she lives probably somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes drive depending on traffic and then my brother lives like a three minute drive away from me so he went to her place yesterday and she starts cooking early in the morning so she had already made like she had already started chicken and stuff for an army so she just packed me some food she just packed food for us so we're gonna have some of that for dinner because I bought lunch for today and tomorrow already. So anyway, we're going to do that for dinner. And I am going to cast on that hat, I think, and finish this sweater. So I totally, totally worked on the sweater until it was time to go into the school building. And then I bound it off. But I've been walking around with the ball of yarn pinned to the inside of my sleeve all day. <laughs> I totally did. That is, that's what I did today. So, um, I like the way this sleeve fits much better than how it was before. So ripping it out and going down to a size two is a good choice. So I will pull back this bind off and I just pulled the camera toward me. Sorry. Uh, I will pull out that bind off and the second bind off and finish re-knitting that cuff so that can be done. So what's that? Hat, cuff. I need to measure this because I was working on it. You can't even see what that is. This is a cowl, cowl thing, the Louisa Harding cowl thing that I'm working on. I am going to read anything, something, anything, just read. And I need to clean out my purse. I need to clean out my backpack. And I need to pick up my floor a little bit. And... Oh, I have a secret project I need to work on so I can 
send some things in the post. Okay, so I'm going to work on things for swap packages tonight, which I won't be able to show you. But I can show you those other things, the sweater, the hat, and uh, I'll pull out another sock and work on that too because it's October and I have to do that. So yeah, I'm going to have a busy evening. Work was great. Um, yeah, my kids are great. <laughs> they're a handful, <laughs> but they're great. And I love my coworkers, so that's also great. And did I say that Mara did really well going to a teacher's classroom? She said she had a really great day. She said it was an amazing day. So that's really good. <sighs> and she made a new friend. She is friends with one of the secretary's daughters now. So yay that. Molly. Uh, I'm going to hang out with Molly now. And Surreal. And eventually when Patrick comes down to bed, I will go hang out with my kids. But I need to decompress it just a little. See you in a little bit. Bye. This is the stack of stuff that I just pulled out of my purse. Some of it will be going back, but... Some of it won't. Why do I have all these receipts and stuff in my purse? Who am I? I'm turning into Patrick. I hate receipts. I hate useless coupons. And I just have so much of it in my purse right now. So did you guys hear me earlier say that I had a class tonight when I was figuring out my stuff for the evening? You sure did not. I realized 45 minutes after my class was supposed to start that I was supposed to be teaching. So I came to the shop because I didn't have any of my, I didn't have either of my students' numbers. So I just called them and apologized and I spoke to one of them and left a voicemail for the other. And uh, I'm going to cry when I get out to my car because I am not this person who forgets things like classes and I feel super anxious and terrible. I called my boss as soon as I realized that I had forgotten my class, like I called her from home and I was like, hey, I'm going to go to the shop. I'm going to call people. I'm really sorry. I'm not this person. And she was like, oh, I know. You just have a lot going on. It's okay. Don't feel worse than you already do. So I'm trying not to feel worse than I already do. But I'm going to cry because how do I forget that I have a whole class? I mean, I know I have a lot going on right now, but Oh, I'm so disappointed in myself right now. Um, but the one student I talked to was lovely and she was super understanding about it. So that was really nice. Oh, I can't believe I forgot a whole class. I need to reset my timers is what it is. My alarms. So I'm going to go do that right now before I drive because... Should not be driving and crying at the same time. And my boss was really nice about it too. So that helped. And it's only the second week of classes. She was like, hey, it's the second week of classes. If you're gonna forget ever, it's gonna be the second week. So, yeah. Sunshines, this is Heather from the future. So I did not do any of the crafty things I thought I was going to do because I didn't get in my car and cry. Um, but I did get in my car and talk to my best friend for about an hour so she could, you know, so we could catch up on life because I haven't talked to her in about a week and a half. So the last time we had been talking, I had been considering taking the para job and now I have the para job. So we talked about that and we talked about her work and she like... She was like, oh, I totally get that you feel like a total jerk for missing your class because I would feel like a total jerk, but it's okay. It's not that big of a deal, blah, blah, blah. And by blah, 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 I mean a whole bunch of other great things. <laughs> so she made me feel better. And then I came home and um, put my kids to bed, and then I promptly went to sleep because stress makes me sleepy. So yeah, I, uh, I didn't do any good crafty stuff. I didn't finish any crafty stuff. Stop. You can be on the morning recording. So 
now it's the morning, but it's, I'm going to sign off this vlog and start tomorrow's vlog. Have a good night. Bye.